The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra reportedly has a similar design as the S22 Ultra. To add to the excitement, the primary camera on the S23 Ultra will have a resolution of 200 megapixels. Well, the good news for Samsung fans is still ongoing, as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 includes some excellent AI camera features for the Samsung S23 Ultra. To know more about this device, join us as we discuss Samsung S23 Ultra's design, camera, and more. This is awesome. Design Several visual similarities exist between the Galaxy S22 Ultra and the S23 Ultra, the latter being its successor. Some speculation suggests that the S23 Ultra is heavier and larger in all dimensions than its predecessor, the S22 Ultra. You probably won't even notice the little variations in size and weight, which are on the order of tenths of a millimeter and a few grams respectively. People who prefer to avoid touching or writing on curved screens may choose a device with a flatter screen and sides. Similarly, the S23 Ultra's signature rear camera layout has been maintained. You'll find the same aesthetic cues, front-facing camera configuration, and button layout as the other device. Located once again on the phone's bottom edge, next to the USB Type-C connector is the S Pen slot. Regardless, significant changes are being made to the primary camera. The main camera's resolution has doubled from 108 to 200 megapixels. The 12 megapixel ultra-wide angle camera, 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 10 times optical zoom, and 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3 times optical zoom are all still accessible. However, we shall talk more about the camera, so keep watching. The new model is bigger and thinner than before, measuring 163.4 by 71.8 by 8.8 millimeters in measurements. This phone, when fully assembled, weighs a total of 223 grams. A glass front and back were speculated to hide the phone's metal frame. The 6.8-inch display on the Galaxy S23 Ultra is said to offer a higher brightness level, quicker refresh rate, 120Hz, and better HDR capabilities. There will be at least four color choices for us to choose from. The S23 series will reportedly come in various colors, including white, black, green, and light pink. So, how come we're so sure about the design? We know this because we saw the case file provided on Twitter by Leaker Ice Universe. According to his tweet, S23, S23 Plus, and S23 Ultra protective cases have been introduced. The compatible cases for the Samsung S23 Ultra have yet to be announced. It was also found that the S22 design is indistinguishable from the S23 design, based on the available samples. A closer examination of the lenses might result in a shorter frame around the eyes. The leaks seem to be a knockoff Samsung Galaxy S22 cases. Samsung's logo or other telltale features would verify their authenticity, yet they seem familiar. However, if there are any further rumors leading up to its release, we will be sure to convey them to you, so make sure you subscribe right away. And many more to come. Camera The S23 series has been rumored to include vastly improved camera optics. Ice Universe, a popular Twitter tipster, claims the S23's stronger 200 megapixel primary camera sensor and greatly improved night photography and videography make it the most significant enhancement to Samsung's flagship series in five years. Per his tweet, it can be confirmed that S23 Ultra's night photos are very strong and much better than S22 Ultra's. I think it's the biggest improvement of Samsung's flagship mobile phone in five years. There are more features coming to the camera thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, so keep watching. Also, per Ice Universe, although the 3x and 10x camera specs are exactly the same as those of the S22 Ultra, the S23 Ultra still has an improvement in telephoto, and the improvement in color and some AI algorithms is obvious. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 The second version of Qualcomm Snapdragon mobile platform was unveiled during the company's annual Snapdragon Summit 2022 event, which took place on the beautiful island of Maui in the Hawaiian Islands. The keynote speech devoted much time to discuss the latest artificial intelligence, AI smartphones experiences. The first thing to do is use the Hexagon processor and sensing hub of the most recent Qualcomm AI engine. Qualcomm's Hexagon processor is the first of its type, including advancements like a dedicated power delivery system. According to Qualcomm, the improved performance enables faster natural language processing, multilingual translations, and enhanced AI-powered camera functionalities. A continually watching camera can recognize faces and red eyes and authenticate individuals via iris scans, among other things. The Cognitive ISP is among Snapdragon's site's many prominent capabilities, which allows immediate semantic segmentation to boost statistic and moving image capture. An excellent example is its capacity to detect and reduce reflections created by eyewear, 
such as sunglasses or eyeglasses that you wear. Qualcomm and Samsung are working closely to enhance the Snapdragon System's 200 megapixel ISOCELL HP3 image sensor. Snapdragon Secure protects these calculations, which are executed locally on the device. In terms of security, the screen may automatically activate or deactivate using technologies such as near-face recognition in response to your look. If the sensor detects the presence of other individuals, it will obscure any signals you have received. For gamers, Qualcomm's recent updates to the Snapdragon Elite Gaming's capabilities are significant, since they provide support for real-time hardware-accelerated ray tracing. The firm claims that this helps them provide more authentic lighting in mobile games. There will soon be head tracking and Qualcomm spatial audio with their Snapdragon sound technology. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is projected to start at $1,199.99, unless Samsung deems a new quad-curved design, and 200 megapixel camera sensor deserves a higher price. We also aim for a $799 Galaxy S23 starting price, $999 for the Galaxy S23 Plus, and $1,199 for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So, are you excited for the S23 Ultra? And do you think that the new chipset and new camera upgrades make it worthy for an upgrade? Let us in on your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.